Uh, Mark, uh, I can't help noticing your hair. <laughs> what are you, a sissy boy? <laughs> Boy, you are getting away with a lot. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Um, uh, no, if a lot guy's of, a little bigger than you are, you don't pick on him, but I'm safe with a guy like you. Uh, a lot of people have given me a lot of grief about my hair. Uh, in fact, I was talking to Howard a while ago. I'm assuming you it know. is your hair. Uh, yeah, it's not yeah. a wig. It's, yeah. it's mine. But uh, anyway, I, we were discussing it, and he says, why are you going to cut it? And, you know, I, it's, it's come to a point. I, I wanted to grow my hair long. I mean, it wasn't... Uh, you know, that uh, I was trying to go and be different or anything else. But uh, in the National Football League, you don't see a lot of people with long hair. Yeah. And uh, I think that long hair, personally, looks a little bit better on me than short. But there is another reason, and I'm going to be shooting a, a poster that, uh, uh, one that's similar to the one that McMahon shot, the one you have in your hand. And uh, mine is going to be called uh, Mark and the Barbarian. So. Is this the McMahon? Mark, Mark and Barbarian? Mark and, yeah. Mark, Mark and the Bar Barbarian. Barbarian. Oh, good. So You're treading on Schwarzenegger's territory. Perhaps. I know. I hope that he doesn't mind. I might, <laughs> might have to hurt him. He's a pussycat. <laughs> no. So this is uh, McMahon, is it? Yeah, this is a McMahon <laughs> poster. It's kind of a wild He sure poster. looks different on The Tonight Show. Look at this. It's a wild... It's a wild... That's one, really... <laughs> this is a, a poster company just came out with this one, They've, they're going to do six or seven other NFL players. Kenny O'Brien is going to be it's doing amazing. one. That, In fact, I imagine everybody heard about what happened to his knee last yeah, game. Yeah. He's going to be out for a while, but... How uh, long do we know? I'll put McMahon uh, over here. Probably. You can leave him back there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be about seven days, but uh, hopefully he'll be ready for the New England game. But uh, he's... He's hurting pretty bad, but mm. we brought in Richard Todd, and Every he's going to be the player hurts pretty bad. So step over anyway, here. I wonder if you would with me. Anyway, by the way, I want to say one thing. Oh, sure. My coaches don't even know yet that the hair is going to be cut on Wednesday, so everybody's going to be oh. happy about that. How, what, how about a celebrity auction of your hair? Wouldn't some of you here <laughs> like to have? Uh, yeah, just one but, person. Um, can you put this on? You think I can get this on you? Can I, can I put that on? Yeah, I'll put it on you. Don't worry. I look like a wimp. <laughs> no, you won't. Huh? Let me see here. This wasn't I planned, mean, but uh, no, I'm going to put it on him anyway, okay? Okay, get, get I'll do it uh, with watch, gentle, watch gentle. it. There we go. Okay. All right. Wait oh. a I got it. All right. Watch there the glue. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody asked me if I wear a hairpiece. It was Howard Cosell who asked, which I think takes a lot of nerve. All right, stick this. Okay, why does a guy with Cosell's here. money have a hairpiece that looks like through. a wedge of blueberry pie sitting on top of his head? I can never understand that. Okay. I can't figure that out. You know what? It what? fits pretty good. Well, you and I are this. The we, reason this is so We are the same size. It's the cameras that make us now, appear. Believe it or not, I, I do wear this jersey. <laughs> believe it or not, the reason why is because the shoulder pads, when you put it over the shoulder pads, it's real tight. And an offensive lineman, being that they like to hold a lot, it's real hard for them to grab when it's against the shoulder pads. But oh, uh, that's a... you've got a little to go before you can be the size of the shoulder pads. No wonder they always grab. But here, uh, I don't want to hurt anything. But no, see, I, I, I'd be... see me. no, you've got one other thing under there that the uh, most of the people in the audience might not know that we wear. What's but, that? Uh, that's something to keep it tucked in. Now pull under. It's like a diaper. What? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> me hurt. Okay. Believe this. See, this is what we have to go through. <laughs> you guys, you guys do this every... Yeah, every game. Do you do it for each other? Just not. <laughs> well, I, I imagine there are some ball players that do that, but not yeah. me. Yeah. Well, that's really swell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. right uh, um, Thank God it's a large shirt. All right, let's just uh... <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> oh. let's I mean, say you know, that, if I were a tiny one, I'd be singing a different part in the choir, but it'll move. <laughs> okay. Let's say the quarterback. I need somebody to stand out here, but. Um, well, you're like, standing out well, pretty well. Let's see. You want someone right. here? A third quarter, party? That table can be the quarterback, all right? I'm not going to. It's extremely solid. Hurt. Are you going to show me how to dump a quarterback? Well, I'm going to show you what it takes to get back to a quarterback. A lot of to people... To get past uh, an offensive exactly. lineman. 
because the offensive lineman is the object that uh, basically is trying to keep you out yeah. from getting back to their quarterback and putting them out of so the game. Tell him to hurry up. Don't tell me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll <laughs> hurry. Okay. So why don't you get down in a stance? Okay. All right. Is this not a stance? No. Huh. Down like this. Okay. All right. No, wait a minute. You got to get your leg right. Do so we have, have enough time to show him just a oh, couple things? Sorry, I've... you can leave that. Yeah. All right. Put your leg. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Like hey. this. Oh, right now. Wish. When I stand, all right. Now okay, I'm going to come off I'm the here. ball. Yeah. You look exactly like. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> Doctor Ruth. All right. <laughs> okay. Now when I come off, yeah. you stand up. So I okay. stand. And the best move is an outside hey. move. All right. R. Wow. See? You said and then he you've got the quarterback down. right behind you. All right. Okay. R. An inside. Right. Now move. this time, hey. Like that. But Just as you get can the guy see. And you bring his weight, you bring, you, it's almost jujitsu in that you, his right. forward motion, you take advantage of it. What I'm trying to do is make an excuse for the reason I only have just a half a sack this year. It's because you can see when I'm making this move, mm -hmm. it kills me. Okay? Yeah. Or this move. Oh. So, yeah. basically, the only move that I have to go on is like a bull rush move. <laughs> yeah, no! Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That didn't hurt a bit. You're all right. <laughs> Good job. Must Did go. Did they get that? Did they get that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Must we go? Yeah. We have to okay, go. Okay, when we come back, and before I bring the next guest out, I will show you something. He doesn't know about this, that you will remember the longest day you live. <laughs> right. We'll be right. I promise. The whole country will talk about it. I told it too fast. Uh, Mark, let me show you something that's an interesting thing. And uh, I, I, if you ever, the only thing harder than any sport is ballet. Mm -hmm. And when, uh, the, you know, nobody's in the shape that a ballet dancer is, nor does anyone suffer more in later life, I guess. But in partnering, I was watching Baryshnikov once, and I, he said that by thinking of the top of his head and thinking himself up, uh, a girl can lift him, and it, a partner makes it easy by thinking upward. So if you put your arms under my, if you just take me straight up, off the floor, right like that. Now, because I thought upward, I would be lighter than if, uh, uh, my Aikido sensei showed me this. <laughs> by bringing your weight, by mentally thinking yourself perhaps as an hourglass and the weight coming downward and your center of gravity, or one point as it's called being here, if I mentally let my weight drop I would be, if you were blindfolded just then, mm -hmm. you'd have guessed my weight at probably about what it is. If I let my weight downward and in the same position, you and you were blindfolded, this? you would probably guess me to be much heavier. Wait a minute, I think I almost have it. This is not a joke. It turned out that way. Okay. Now, I'll be, if I stand out far, of course, from you, it's like a trick. It makes it hard. I'm not going to lie, though. No, I'm no, tell no, you no exactly. don't lie. Okay. Now, now, tell me if I feel heavier when you lift me this way. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did I? Four or five times. Now, wait. Now, as my teacher say, I take your strength away here. Okay? Now. Anytime. I think I've got this one. <laughs> Are you pushing against me as, as I'm pulling up? No one knows why I'm, why this makes your weight seem to be against you. This way is, is even weirder. That's where it's going against me, right? Is it? I don't know. It's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lie. <laughs> I Sorry. never knew you'd stoop to saying it's a trick. <laughs> Ancient principle of Budo. I can't either. You're a fink. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Yeah. You did feel a lot of I, I had a, a, a weightlifting stagehand one time, and he put me up like as he was showing off in a bar, and he went like as a. <laughs> no way. And his friend said, ah, come on. And another guy did. Later, I went back to him and he said, will you give my strength back? 
It was sort of touching and sweet. My, 